I'm in the mood to hunt a Kraken, and this time we're gonna get him by doing as much of the early defense as we can by ourselves so that we can give our economy a chance to grow. And that means distracting all the swordsmen from attacking my harbor so that I can make a fishing boat. And they can make more fishing boats now, so that means more money. And also gain archers as soon as possible, like the crossbowmen that do heavy damage, so that they can go through more of these little slimes quicker. Especially if I just walk in the middle of them and hiya, distract all of them. Yes, pay no attention to the people shooting at you with bows and arrows or crossbows any of the above. And our individual crossbows are enough to handle that short wave of crossbows, so we can start to build up some houses back here to generate even more income. The big reason I couldn't defend well against the Kraken in my mind is that I couldn't afford all the defenses that I wanted to. So if we can keep our soldier and extra tower expenses to a minimum, we can focus on economy and generate even more houses that all fit together very nicely. And gain the early damage on these slimes as quickly as possible so our crossbows can deal with less of them on their own. So far this is working out fairly well even though I take a lot of damage but it's worth it so that we can get the wave done and over with and now with the big amount of income from there we can upgrade this castle and get the builders guild so the houses upgrade on their own and then come down over here and unlock the gold mine because that is instant money now we just need to help our crossbows out as much as possible against all of the knights and the ram is immediately going for the gold mine because of course it is no just stay away you're not allowed to go through here i said you're not allowed to go through here Nick. you're not allowed to go through me either well this is a bit of a disappointing start for the gold mine need the crossbows down here and the gold mine is already destroyed cool stupid battering ram just go ahead and get stuck so we can finish you off. I spent all that time building the gold mine and it just gets destroyed right away. But now we got flying enemies coming in over here. So let's just take a moment to build another harbor over here. Upgrade this one and then build another harbor over here. It's counterintuitive right now because it's going to be destroyed right away. But that's fine. This way will be over with. And then we can make even more boats. Plus the tower right there should have the range to pick them off while they're distracted by the harbor. Yes, beautiful. And the crossbows are desperately trying to reach them. But it's not working out too well. And the, cro and the tower is damaging each of them a little bit instead of just picking them off which isn't the best idea but now they're just going straight for the houses so that's fun come on crossbow step up and do your thing all right a few houses lost but no big deal and now we have double the income from that one harbor in the middle yes and we already have 28 coins to use so this is very good and i'm also interested in these berserkers that go after the high health targets like these siege engines maybe let's just double them up right away and double up the crossbows right away too for even more big old damage numbers and then we can unlock the blacksmith to get some additional upgrades and I'm thinking ahead to the units that the Kraken releases. So let's get some melee resistance. And then we can set up a tower right down here to start picking off at the units coming in. If we can take care of the evasion force up here quickly enough, then we can focus on below. And the berserkers are going in right for the battering ram. And they do quite a bit of damage to it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> that was so fast. But now the rest of these crossbows are an issue, distracting all of my units. But now they're taken care of, so let's quickly move to the south because those units are starting to roll in. Quickly defend the gold mine. Aha, that's working pretty well. And the berserkers charge ahead of the crossbows to go right for the battering ram. They attack pretty quick. I like it. No battering ram's gonna destroy any gold mine of mine anymore. Yes. So we get all of that delicious income and we can immediately double the income from this harbor. And this harbor has a boat, so we'll double this income. And then we'll build up some towers over here because there's gonna be a wall coming in here soon. And then we'll build up a few more houses. Quite a few more houses. I like this. And we can get more melee units over here. So why don't we just go ahead and get more berserkers? <laughs> so many berserkers. Now we just gather up absolutely everybody to face these enemies that are coming in, which has the rolly units that I'm worried about because they literally care about nothing except for going straight for my castle. I do not like it very much. Let's just take care of the slimes quickly as possible and hope that my towers are strong enough to pick apart these things with me helping of course it kind of seems like it is and they're having to maneuver through the houses to get to the castle so that's a good thing for us okay it looks like the slimes got through my initial wave of units but that's okay they're easily distracted by my dead body and then my units are strong enough to finish the job excellent not worried about going down at all at least not yet okay now we have some more flying units coming in so let's go ahead and get some more ranged units the crossbow struggle with flying units but they still do a whole lot of damage so i'm gonna get them upgrade them right away to get more of them and then we'll go ahead and get some more research going in the form of melee damage because I really want to feed the berserkers. Speaking of berserkers, let's just get more of them. And then we'll go ahead and get more towers built up because I like defense. And I'm also running out of room to put down houses. Our towers should be sufficient enough to take care of the flying units and the crossbows can kind of help where they can. Oh, maybe I should have put some up around the gold mine. Some of them are targeting straight for that. Sure, we'll put some up right there. And then they just immediately get distracted by all the flying units that are attacking this harbor. Speaking of, did that one just get destroyed? Yes, it did. That's fine though. They can't keep up with all the other ranged units we have. So we lose a few houses. What's the big deal? I still get delicious income from
from all the other sources. Oh, yes. Now, and now I think it's a good idea to upgrade our castle to the third level and then go ahead and get some magic armor so that the enemies that deal damage to me will take some damage themselves. And now we can start to build up our wall defenses. Planning ahead for the future here. There's not many waves left. And since there's not many waves left, I don't have the time to just let these houses upgrade on their own. So I'm going to upgrade them manually because we'll still get a lot of income. All of my units should be strong enough to beat back this army of invaders. We'll just go ahead and set them up right at the spawn so they can immediately get to work, especially against the battering rams that come in right away and the giants. <laughs> <laughs> that ram went by so fast. Oh my goodness. I love it so much. Now I need units to attack me so they can start dealing damage to themselves. Yes, hit me. Come on. I know you want to hit me so I can hit you stronger. Okay, so that's my initial wave of defenders taken out, but they are down one battering ram, which is a good thing. Soon to be down another battering ram because my berserkers are coming back and also distract as many of these soldiers as I can that thankfully do damage to themselves, even though they still hurt a little. Ow. This seems to be the end of the attackers, so let's just hold out and they do a lot of damage to themselves. That's very nice. Now they're just struggling to take down the tower. And the good news is they are staying away from all of my economy. I like it. Now let's see how many coins that we start with. The mine is almost empty and we're still getting 64 coins. I love it. So now it's time to start preparing for the Kraken wave. We'll start to turn some of these towers into ballistas and also giving these walls a well-needed upgrade. And two ballistas being right up here should be good. This tower right here should have good extended range. And we'll go ahead and upgrade this tower as well. And we'll see how quickly my my little army here can take out those roll units that I don't like very much. So the berserkers go in and oh my gosh, they can't even break through really, except they do because they just keep rolling and they don't stop and they don't stop. So I can just clean up all of that mess and my towers are well equipped to take out the flying units, which is good. While everybody else down here deals with these slimes that thankfully can't break through. Now I need the crossbows to come up here and help take out flying units because there's a lot more up here than I like. Why don't they just shoot me so they can damage themselves? Isn't that the better option? Doesn't matter, they all get destroyed. And now we have a big old wave of attackers coming in on both sides. The gold mine really doesn't have anything in it that it's giving anymore, so we'll just leave that be. And we can go ahead and upgrade our other towers to ballistas and also pull in some more soldiers so we can get additional crossbowmen here and additional berserkers here. Our forces actually seem pretty well balanced on both sides to take care of both invaders. So we'll just start tonight and let them go about their business. The ballistas over here are gonna do so good. And I'll just help out where I can so our soldiers can focus on more important targets, like the rollers. <laughs> These knights over here aren't getting the time of day. Oh my gosh, they're just getting melted instantly. I like it. And now the berserkers are going straight for the giants and battering rams down here. That's always good to see. And the roller units over here aren't getting anywhere near through this castle walls. That's good. Yeah, they destroy the gold mine, but it doesn't give anything anymore. So we're fine. That force, I'm gonna say, is held at bay as it is, especially now that this ballista has the range to go over there. Look at that. Giant down. Almost. Now it's down. And the forces over there are done. So now it's just everybody over here. Hiya! Hi and we still have good economy coming in that we can use against the big boy in the middle. Oh my goodness. We have 98 coins to use. Wow. I am going to make so many ballistas. Upgrade you to ballista, and then you to ballista. Pull in some more berserkers, and and get yet another ballista. I'll upgrade this tower, but just leave it normal so it can fire normally. And then I'll set up a wall over here just so we can reinforce it right away. And then I'll set up more towers where possible. I can set up two more. And this is what I'm going to do. I will devote half of my forces to this side of the world and then half of my forces to this side of the world so that when the Kraken switches sides, we'll be able to meet him. Okay. Hopefully all this prep was worth it. Here we go. Goodbye, beautiful harbors that gave me so much more money. And now look at them. They're ready to go. Wait, the berserkers are coming around this side excited aren't they but oh my goodness the ballistas are melting through the kraken's health so much better than before i like it i just need to distract all these slimes from destroying my soldiers and now he's going down there which is fine our berserkers are going around to meet him which is good the blisters are just chewing through him i need a better view of this and that's another health bar gone very nice yeah those rollers are all over this kate that was what i was afraid of but if i just stand here they don't do a whole lot of damage to me but they do more damage to themselves which is good Oh boy, almost lost it to the slimes there. But man, now my berserkers are all in the wrong spot. Thankfully, they still can't do enough damage to the walls to break through. But the towers go down, which is a disappointment. That's fine though, we're keeping all the forces away from the gates, which is the good thing. So our ballistas have more time to focus on the Kraken, which sadly does not take damage underwater until it lands. And that's the disappointing part of it. But look at how much damage it takes now. Oh, I think we got this. 
I'm feeling really good about this, especially since look at the castle walls. It's just finally starting to get a tick of damage into it. Our ballistas are fine and dandy. Surprisingly, they haven't even knocked down that wooden defensive tower yet. This is more health that the Kraken has lost than any of the other attempts I've tried making before. I've been trying this for a while, but now comes the hard part because he's just dumping units directly into my castle. So we need to take him out quickly. Okay, thankfully he left. So let's just clear out these enemies and we'll be okay. Our castle is keeping up good health numbers thanks to the upgrades. Okay, whew, we survived that initial assault. That means we have this in the bag. I am calling it right now. Go on, get out of here. Now where are you gonna go, you jerk? Yeah, go on up over there. See how far that gets you. Just two more health bars remaining. Need to get these rolly boys out of here. And this is the last health bar. Yes, where are you gonna land up now? Oh, directly into the castle. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> but it's fine. Just gather everybody right around here so they can help take this guy out. And Kraken is dead. Yes, we got him. Woo, okay, just gotta take out everybody else. Don't even worry about the guys outside the walls. Just take out everybody in here. Oh, our castle is defended. Aha, big old Kraken isn't gonna mess with me anymore. And that is a victory for us. Yes! Oh, boy. And getting a wonderful new record and more bonuses. Ooh, fire archers. Wow. And those buildings being developed out in the frosty lands are looking pretty nice. So that'll do it for this video of Thronefall. Hope you guys enjoyed. And thank you for watching. Sub to intern. And I do want to thank the channel members, including Bread, Mr. Kripple One, Ancient Elixir One, Corby Farm, Dakota C, Donomoto, Devion X, Muffin Stuffer, Lucas S, Splattersax, The Real Nickname, Edward, Peggy Sue, Droop Along, TJ. JB and seriously sarcastic.